In the 1950s, we used to work steam trains out here. The uh, other morning and afternoon, there was passenger train. Mainly in my day, it was a two-car passenger train, but looking at it now, where the coal loader was, is all trees and buildings. And you wouldn't think that there used to be a coal loading section there. The main, one of the main collieries was John Darling there, and to come through to Belmont, behind me there is where the coal loader used to be. A mine used to load the coal there by trucks. There's about probably one train a week went out of there. John Darling, Burwood and, and uh, Lambton Colliery at Redhead, they were uh, around the clock. The uh, trains used to go there. On the coal trains going back through Fernley Tunnel, we had to have respirators. On the passenger train, it didn't matter because uh, you were running downhill and uh, you could just run straight through it with the engine shut off. You'd pick up the passengers at Whitebridge, Redhead, Jewels, or here at Belmont, but the Anchor Hyper, of course. We only ever worked steam engines out here. On the coal trains, when we went back from here, we'd always have to have a dinghy to help us up the hill from Redhead to Whitebridge because the hill was too steep just for the one engine. That lever hooks up the points and moves the rail so you can go onto a different line. You just threw it over and they come across. Mm. That track there used to be the relief road around the platform. The track here behind me was the main line. And then the bank engine or sister engine would be there, we'd go around behind us and push us up to Whitebridge. The, uh, mainly they'd put you in those uh, areas so it was a passenger train could go through because they're a lot faster than the goods train. The coal trains that come up through Redhead came from John Darling Colliery and also from Belmont Loading Point. Now I think uh, the Belmont one was for shipping, but the John Darling Colliery was uh, one of the BHP collieries. There were three out here all told, Burwood, Lampton here, and John Darling, they, all that coal went to BHP. Bank engines, we used to have an engine that would push the train, the coal trains up as far as the road bridge at Whitebridge, up at the top of the hill. Otherwise, it, from John Darling, if we never had time to go down to John Darling to get them, they'd come to here and we'd get on behind them. Belmont ones, we'd get on behind them here. The redhead ones in the colliery over here, we'd go into the colliery and get on behind them in the colliery and then we'd push them through to the top of the hill up at Whitebridge. This is a water column where we used to uh, top our tender tank water up. That arm there, we'd stop and that arm used to swing out over the tender. You'd put the hose in and then you'd pull that lever there. You'd pull it down and that would open up the water to flow in. And that's the one you had to be careful, you opened it slowly. So it was a valve wouldn't jam open. And that was just here behind us. Where that concrete slab is there, that's where the water tower used to be. The suburban engines, these little ones, they never had to take water. It was only the good strange engines that took water. <laughs> 